tonight I wanted to ask you some questions about um, how do we get our dream in life, like the, the things that we've always wanted. Like we just had the new year and we've all got like our goals on our mind and you know resolutions and some of us have done our like goals for the year. And So I just wanted to ask you both what you think about how to attain that life you've always dreamed about. Mm. Wonderful uh, question. Before, before we answer that, let me introduce uh, Patrice Donnelly here. She's owner of uh, Inner uh, Bliss and Outer Joy. She's also author of uh, Science of Creating, to introduce that key process that she had taught for many years. And she's also a wonderful master teacher and very gifted person. We are honored to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a, that's a, a wonderful subject and something that is attainable for all, all people, everyone. We all have dreams, we all have aspirations, and uh, getting to those, understanding how we can create them from where we are right this minute, is one of, I think, the most sought question. We're, we're looking for happiness in our lives. We're looking for fulfillment. But creating that at this time, in, in a life that we have to endure is, is, is falling short of that mark. When we have to endure a job, when we have to endure life, we're not creating. So how do we go about creating? That's a great question. It's a big, big test of time. I mean, in changing times with all the struggles and bad economy, it's a little harder to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, additional challenges, but uh, it can be done. But in order for us to be successful at that, we need to understand maybe some cases how some people are able to be successful at it very easily, whereas others seem to be struggle. So what do you think, uh, Patrice? Well, when you say very easy, it's, it's a simple process, I believe. But it's, it's not an easy process. Uh, we have to be able to come to a place in ourselves that the most important thing that we want in life is getting what it is that we're looking for. Fulfillment of, of, of sort. But how do we go about doing that? How do we, how do we yeah, start? I mean, that? if you ask people a simple question like, uh, what do you want in life? Or where do you want to go? Or a simple question like, well, they will say, I want to go on vacation. But you notice that there's it's not a whole lot of specifics out there. Mm. And without much specifics, it's much harder to go there. I mean, how do you go to the airport and, and say, well, send me someplace for vacation? And that, I think, is the, the first step. The first step in creating a life of our dreams is to see that life. We have to, we, we can't, I mean, think of, think of being a photographer and taking your camera out into this beautiful place in Yosemite and seeing this, this sunrise up over the falls at Yosemite and having your camera in your hand and never having it in focus. What, what is your picture going to turn out to be? It, it's, it's, unless we can be focused on what it is that we want in life, mm -hmm. we're not going to be able to attain or get that in our lives. So the first, the first uh, step is being clear of what's important to you. What, what do you want to do? What brings you happy? You know, and, and, and setting that as a, as a direction. It doesn't mean quit your job right now and, and, and move into that. It means start aligning yourself. Aligning yourself with what you want, what you desire. So when you say align, um, what do you mean by that? Align yourself. That means being, having faith in the fact that you can achieve, you can get to where you want to go uh -huh. by being faithful to that dream. You can't, you, we, can, we can work in a factory mm -hmm. and do our parts and dream of another life, but if we never mm -hmm. get clear and make that decision to head in that direction, it's, it's, it stays nothing but a dream. That's a very, that's a very good uh, point you make, uh, because a lot of times, uh, and some of us have done it, if they go to school or in name of competition, or because your neighbor is doing something, or because your parents tell you that you'll be good at this, we end up making some goals, 
but then we are making the goal because they said so. There was a survey done recently uh, of uh, people who were on the deathbeds in hospices. Mm -hmm. One of the first four regrets they had was that they did not listen to their own inner voice. Mm -hmm. Instead, they let other people's opinion or strong opinions drown it out. And maybe that's what you mean by being aligned with your inner voice. That's right. That's what right. do you love doing, for that's example? Right. right? That's exactly right. So let's say that we have the picture, we have an idea of what it is that we want to do in our life. And we start off in that direction. And you're working hard and you're putting your time and effort into that and you don't succeed. You, 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 you run into these blocks, you run into this wall. How is it that some people actually get, are very successful in their life and some people, no matter how hard they try, fall short into fall short of, of achieving their dream. Wow. What makes the difference here? What makes some people successful and some not? I think the important point here also is that some of the conversations we have had was the your, your conscious mind and subconscious mind also play a pretty significant role. I mean, if you talk about like New Year resolutions, obviously people want, want to drop a habit. Or maybe create a new habit, lose a few pounds, or maybe quit smoking, or things like this. Mm -hmm. So we see that uh, a lot of people go through this inner conflicts. That uh, a person wants to do this, but something within him says, no, you want to do this. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's a part of human struggle. Yes. Uh, so well, go ahead, please, could you elaborate on that some more? Well, it, it's true. You know, if, if you're saying to yourself, I want to... I want to lose weight, okay, and I, I want to see myself in this, you know, slim physique. And you go to the mirror and you look in the mirror and you say, I'm fat. <laughs> well, what are you creating for yourself? Your mind is listening. You, there's a part of us that listens to every single thing that we say. And it goes into this funnel back into our subconscious that says, I'm fat or I'm this, I'm stupid, or I can't. There, there's a word that should be erased from our vocabulary is the word I can't. Because mm -hmm. can't is a wall that you'll never ever ever climb over. So when we say I can't, there's no way that you can at that point. It's, it's, it's an automatic failure. If I, if I may quote Henry Ford, he used to always say this, if you believe you can, or if you believe you can't, you are right. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Which is right. interesting. Like, it's a, whatever you believe you end, end up manifesting in one way. That's because true. Because you're basically then managing your energy and your time and your efforts in direction whatever you believe. And that is the key to success. If you believe, wholeheartedly believe and see yourself in that vision that you hold for yourself, whatever your dream is, if you see it, and live it on the inside, it cannot not happen. You will, we create all the time. We're, we're creating every circumstance around us. We're, we're creating through every decision. We live in a world of cause and effect. And that's the natural law. It's whatever decision that you make, and that's always the cause. The cause is always the decision that you make. Everything after that decision is the effect. So you want a garden, the cause is the fact that you want the garden. The getting the soil prepared, the seeds ready, getting out everything planted, those are all effects. But the, the true cause is always going to happen in your mind. Always going to happen in the mind. And that is really our power. We are not using and utilizing the power of our minds to create. That is, that is very nicely put. Because a lot of times if you think about it, if you look, look at around yourself, there are people who will discourage you. The trick here is to go inside and find out what you really love doing. Even though you're not able to do it today. And most of us find ourselves in a position we are doing a job we may not like doing. So the question is, well, somehow learn to put up with whatever you're doing 
if it's your source of living. But somewhere you got to go find those seeds of love that are already inside of you. And bring them out in clarity that this is what I want to do. And so that brings the focus, right? That's correct. And then from that point on, you got to make sure that you protect yourself from all negative self-talk and also negative words and attitudes used by people around you. And that to go in the direction you want to go. Beautifully right? said. Beautifully said. And that is the power of the will. The power of the will. If, if, and, and there is that old saying, if there is a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. We make the way through our own willpower. So if you understand that this is the direction, any obstacle that comes up in your path, if this didn't work out, you don't say, oh, well that tells me I'm in the wrong place, that shouldn't be my dream, and you just let that go to the wayside. But instead, you see it as an obstacle, and we walk around another path, another direction. But we use our willpower to continue on that path towards whatever it is that we want. That's where success comes from. Not allowing ourselves to lose the momentum towards our dream. We must continue. We must have faith in ourselves and faith that whatever it is that we love and we want to bring into our lives is there coming to us as we're moving to it. And, and that's exactly what, what manifesting is or creating is. Is that what? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Is that what you meant when you're saying live it inside? Because I didn't quite know what you meant by living it inside. Well, it's it, it's true. Okay. It's it's true. You know, there's so many people in this world that want money. They want abundance. Okay, and and they 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 say it again and again in their life. You know, I use affirmations and I and I teach people to use these statements, positive statements. Uh, and repeat them in order to create a change inside of your mind. So if you're dealing with bad habits, you know, you, you remind yourself through these statements periodically through the day to address and redirect your thoughts in the direction you want. So if you want money, if you want abundance in your life, mm -hmm. you, 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 you can say to yourself, I am abundant. I see abundance everywhere. I am rich. And then you go to the store and you write the check and you say, $34, where am I going to get the money to cover up? We can't have conflicting thoughts. We can't say, I am rich, and then look at poverty in our own life or look at the poor. We have to be able to live wealth and richness inside of us. Even though our financial statement might prove otherwise, we have to, it's, it's, I, I don't really like the, the um, saying, fake it till you make it, but really, it, it's true. We have to convince ourselves whatever we create inside of our thoughts and inside of us is what we're going to create in the outer world. If, if I may also say a few things around that, I think a lot of times, uh, sometimes have difficulty keeping the focus. Uh, what I have mm -hmm. found very useful is if you have a diary or a computer mm -hmm. or a PDA, mm -hmm. you write down on it and I think because it works because 80% of perception happens through the eyes. So if we can make our goal visible, draw a picture of it or write a statement mm -hmm. and feel the beauty of it. Yes. It's just like Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, Roosevelt didn't, isn't that who she said? Future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's, yes. It's, you got to feel the beauty because this is your chance of changing this world. This is such a unique uh, investment God has made in you that there is nobody else like you. So don't look at yourself as an ordinary person and see that it's something very unique. It's so unique that if you if to say to anybody, they will not believe it to start with. It's like Susan Boyle. You remember that video tape? I love that one. In Brit uh, UK has got talent. The singer. This 47 year old woman comes and she's going to sing uh, a famous uh, uh, opera singer, right? And then we left in her face. And when she started singing, their jaws just dropped. And these judges had tears in their eyes. Yes. Because nobody expected that. Right. But she had the courage to go out on the stage. 
Uh, now again, so get on the stage. So some actions. Too. There you go. <laughs> well, now we talked about the first step is is the vision. The vision. The second step is the faith to move towards it, mm -hmm. and the third is the courage, the risk. Oh yes, <laughs> taking the risk, and any advancement requires risk. Some actually, sort of risk. Actually, even going to this stupid job that you don't like is a risk. You could be hit by a car. Who knows? Right. Maybe an icicle fall on you. Who knows? Should take a chance. It's all 50-50. <laughs> I'm quoting. I'm quoting Alfred Stone, Swan, the first chairman of General Motors. Yes. The one uh, young young uh, uh, journalist was chasing him, and he he, he couldn't find him. Finally, he said, "You got. To, I got time for one question. Kate, tell me what you want." He said, "Okay, I'll ask you a question." And his question was, do you ever make a mistake? He said, us, in my business, if we are doing 50-50, you're way, 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 way ahead. Excellent. Excellent. So, 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 you can't be afraid of doing things. You've got to be sideways thinker. You just got to take a chance, right? That's right. That's so right. you've got to have the vision, right? That's right. Then you're going to make your vision visible. Then have the discipline, right? And a focus. Yes. Maybe learn a few skills too, right? Whatever it takes to keep you moving in that direction. And that's really, it, it, takes, it takes willpower, determination, and faith in yourself in order to succeed. And to know that first and foremost, we have within us a, a divine power. Yes, yes. A divine power that is, is one with the universe. You can call it God, you can call it universal consciousness, you can call it the cosmic mind, you, it doesn't matter what you call it, but there's an intelligence that is around us, in us, it holds everything together, it works through us, and all we have to do is use our own minds to put focus on what it is that we want to bring into the world, into our lives. And again, there, there, is, there are like rules that you have to follow. The rules are, it, it, you can't be selfish. You, you, you can't be caught up in the materialistic aspect of, I want, 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 because then you're in the small mind. You're, you're not going to be connected to this divine, universal mind. Mm -hmm. you, we have to be able to enter into this world with our desire and want to bring it into the world as a service for others. Yeah. Then they got more cooperation from the universe. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. and people feel like they're benefited by what you have to give. Yes. Beautiful music. You play beautiful music. And when you are there playing your music, people are touched. You can feel it in your heart. And that is a, a, a beautiful gift that you give the world. It's a beautiful service that you offer. And you can't not be successful when, when people are touched by it. So it's, it's, it's a matter of being courageous enough to, to live this dream, to have the courage to get on stage, and, and then watching the interaction between what happens to the world and your dream. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, fulfilling life. And we're here to have a fulfilling life. We're here to be that. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Nice set. I may add just two more things to that. Also pay attention to the company you keep, please. Make sure you have you're surrounded by like-minded people because they will be a big resource to you. And also from the work life, borrow some disciplines like uh, whether you use Franklin Planner or PDA Planner because whatever you're doing, you got to keep track of it and allow. make sure you give yourself tasks. Action must take place in the direction you want to go. Because you could sit there uh, on the armchair and keep watching TV all day, then nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can't so, so make sure you are taking the positive steps. And that is the, one of the most important. Yes, because ultimately your results are going to depend on the your, quality of action you deliver. That's correct. Whereas your love depends on where your heart is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't steer a car that's not in motion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. yes. That's exactly right. Thank thank yeah. you, Patrice, and thank, thank you, you Dan. Yeah, thank you. Honey Hashimika.